Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way. I want to start this video by wishing you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you are celebrating or if you're not celebrating anything, just the time of relaxation and slowing down. Here in Finland, we do celebrate Christmas already on the 24th of December, so on Christmas Eve. And I thought for the sake of Christmas or any type of holiday, we could have a look at my Louis Vuitton collection. In this video, I'm gonna go through everything Louis Vuitton that I own. So that might include other things than bags and SLGs as well. Uh, I will not, well, I will try not to ramble too much on, on each of the pieces. There most likely is a video of all of these. And if there is not, please let me know if you're interested. I would be happy to make something a bit more thorough out of them. I will leave links to all the videos uh, that I have made regarding of the items I'm going to show into the description box so you can go there and see if there's something you're interested in. Let's go right to the point because I have a tendency to talk. Let's start with a coffee table book. I do have one from Louis Vuitton and it is Louis Vuitton City Bags Natural History. Look at the photos! Yeah, so I do love coffee table books. I feel we don't have enough <laughs> Uh, counters where to put them, uh, but uh, this is something like if I truly want to be, if I'm on a visual or aesthetic mood, I will definitely have a look at this book and admire all the beautiful items that Louis Vuitton have produced during the years. Uh, this is mainly focused on bags, but there are also some clothes and, and other styling tips. So I really, really enjoy the book. Here is my Louis Vuitton perfume. This is the California Dream. I have had it now for one and a half years. And I would say like, meh. Um, the scent is really nice, but on my skin, this does not last that long. So considering the price of this perfume, um, mm, I don't think I'm gonna go to fill this bottle up when I have finished this. So for those who don't know, if you purchase a Louis Vuitton perfume, um, they will refill the same bottle and it is gonna cost less money than actually buying a new bottle. So yeah, most likely I, I will not <laughs> refill this. But unfortunately there are some other scents that I have also discovered, which I do like, but I'm a bit hesitant because of the durability on my skin. Let's continue with scarves and shawls. I have two of these infamous Louis Vuitton shawls. This is a navy blue one. I love this. This was my first Louis Vuitton shawl that I purchased maybe three, four years ago. Maybe four years ago, I would say. And I mean, I was warned that this could snag and the threads could come loose. Personally, I haven't noticed that much of an issue. That's why <laughs> I bought a second one. So this is more of a shine shawl, I think it's called. Um, and yeah, personally, I still do love these, but I don't wear them every day. I don't go to work wearing Louis Vuitton shawls. So maybe that's why they do kind of uh, maintain better, I don't know. But, I mean, I have been caught in rain and snow with this one and no problem. So, I mean, if someone would ask from me, would I recommend this? I would say yes, if you truly enjoy it. But, I mean, this is something you wear. So, take, be considerate that it might show the wear at some point. But, yeah, I have two Louis Vuitton shawls. Let's move to SLGs or more or less small canvas goods, I guess. I have only one in leather. But basically, I have had more um, Louis Vuitton SLGs, especially Monogram before this. And I have maybe somewhat 
downsized my collection. First is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Clé, so the key pouch. I wear this every day, it has my key. I was a bit lazy, I didn't really empty the stuff that I just took out of my bag. But I mean, this is like probably my most used uh, designer item this year, last year, ever, I don't know. Because obviously I take my keys with me. But yeah, the pochette clé. Then I have the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. This is for four years old, something like that. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this with the price point that it currently is being sold in the boutiques and definitely not from the pre-owned market because with the monogram the prices are crazy, uh, in my opinion, for what you get. But yeah, this I have in my work bag. I tend to have, let's say, like hand creams and, and lip balms, these type of small small things that I carry and I don't want to just be lying on my bags bottom because then I wouldn't find them. So yeah, the, the mini pochette. Then uh, this is my um, cosmetic case or pouch. I'm not sure which one this is, but this is the PM size in epi leather. I'm not entirely sure what this color is called, but it's like dark fuchsia type of color hopefully the natural light is catching it and it has the louis vuitton on the leather here otherwise it is quite plain which i do really like it has silver hardware and um, the inside is also pink this i did buy pre-owned actually from the vintage bar that was my first time ordering from the vintage bar. It sells usually vintage designer items, but also with newer stuff as well. And um, I was very happy with that experience as well as this one. I feel I wanted the monogram cosmetic case for quite a long time, but I felt that the price increases on those also were quite ridiculous for what it is or what, what it was. So I went with the pre-owned route. And when I looked at the leather versions, the prices on the pre-owned sites in general were a bit better. So just a thought to put out there. Uh, if you are not willing to pay the prices from the monogrammed canvas versions, the leather ones actually are pretty good. I guess keeping in the cosmetic toiletry area. This is my toiletry pouch 26. Um, this is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces. I'm so happy I bought this when I did. Um, uh, three years, I don't know, some, some time ago. I feel like I had a Louis Vuitton phase and craze where I purchased a lot of Louis Vuitton during a short time period. So I think this was from, from that era. Um, but yeah, so when I go anywhere overnight, I take this with me. This is just... It fits so much and if I'm gonna stay for a bit longer period or going to let's say a beach vacation or somewhere where I actually need to bring more toiletry items or cosmetics such as like sunscreens etc then I travel with both of these uh, but this is like my true companion when traveling absolutely love this it's such a shame that Louis Vuitton is playing around with with this and probably coming up with um, a lot of more expensive version but I really do enjoy it I'm so happy that I have it and the last one of my SLGs or canvas pieces uh, is my Louis Vuitton Kirigami and this is actually the the largest size or the la large pouch and that's it um, I did purchase this this autumn and as I do explain in those videos I was keen mainly to get the large size and it was online on the website so I was like yeah why not it's usually not there available so I got all three of them and quickly basically sold the small and medium size just because I, I only had a purpose for this one. But if you are curious to see some kind of comparisons or what fits, I do compare the medium size to my mini pochette to see what fits more, etc. So um, 
because here is the tip that I feel like maybe is not spoken as much. So um, the mini pochette is super hard to get and on the pre-owned sites it is super expensive. But when I sold that medium size Kirigami, which I feel is a pretty good, pretty same sized as the mini pochette, it has the monogram and also leather lining and, and all of that. So it's kind of a good um, alternative for it. And the prices for the medium pouches on the pre-owned sites are so much better than the mini pochette. So just something to, to think about. But yeah, this is the large Kirigami. I totally forgot that I also have the Louis Vuitton Epi card holder. This is in the color Seaside, I think. It was a seasonal color. It has three card slots and yeah, this is actually my only card holder at the moment. I love how flat this is. Final category, handbags. I thought we could go with size order. So starting with my smallest handbag and then graduating to my biggest handbag. First is my vintage Pochette Bordeaux PM. This was an amazing find that I made during this year. Um, I paid some hundreds of euros, so not really much at all. I do have some videos of this one if you want to know more, because I was just shocked and amazed that this is not more popular from the vintage bags, because this is perfect. It has a crossbody strap. It is a classic flap size flap bag. It has a beautiful Louis Vuitton logo over here, which is not that common. It has the monogram. It has the treated leather, so no canvas. And inside, it's all leather lined. So mm, I really, 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 really do love this bag. And I do recommend uh, if you can find one. I do see some of these popping up on pre-owned sites, but not that much. Um, this is from the early 90s, if if and when I didn't mention it yet. Let's continue with my Louis Vuitton Lockney the second BB. So this I also did purchase this autumn and when I got a promotion at work and I felt I wanted to celebrate. This was and is my first and only leather handbag from Louis Vuitton and actually kind of touching it and feeling it. Um, I think um. I'm kind of moving from the canvas, um, I, I think, for a while because the leather, it's just, it feels really nice. And I have been listening to the horror stories of some of the newer Louis Vuitton leather bags, such as Pochette Matisse, all of that, what issues they might have. And I was a bit hesitant to go for a leather bag because I wasn't that familiar with Louis Vuitton leather and all of that. But mine is from 2015, based on the date code inside. And I mean, this is in excellent condition. The corners, there is like no marks in them. And all the, I don't think there actually even is any, well, there is some glazing, but there is like no issues with that. And this is like six year old bag. So, yeah, I think if I'm gonna look at some Louis Vuitton bags in the future, I'm gonna keep my eye on the leather ones because mm, this feels so good. Here is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM, although I don't think this needs any type of introductions. <laughs> Someone actually might call this quite a basic. Uh, this was my very first designer handbag ever and I bought it from Munich. I got this as a graduation present from my mom when I graduated with my second master's degree and yeah this is I don't I wouldn't say that this is my like absolute favorite bag but this is something that I will never never ever get rid of from my collection. Maybe it's sentimental I don't know but I just, I really do enjoy it. I'm not a tote person. I have only this one in my whole collection and I think that's enough. And this is a perfect tote. 
uh, for when I need one. And obviously it came with the pouch because this is part of the newer lines um, or however that is called. And I don't really wear this that much. There were some years where I just didn't touch this at all. And then I saw on all of the pre-owned sites, people were selling these pouches. And for a while I thought I would too, but then I was like, no, this was my first. I'm not gonna get rid of this. And actually during the past two summers or so, I have found some way to wear this. For instance, in my um, straw bags, I just put my phone and some cards here, put this inside the straw bag and go to the, I don't know, market or do some errands or, or so. And this is really good for that purpose. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna sell this, um, even though I still don't wear it that much. But yeah, my Louis Vuitton never falls. We have reached the final destination of my Louis Vuitton collection. Here is my keep all <laughs> bandolier version 60. So uh, this is the size that's just above the cabin size for the airplane, which uh, that was kind of my intention as well. Uh, I do have already cabin sized bags, don't need this one for that purpose. So I absolutely wanted to have a bit bigger one uh, that would fit and I have been using this especially during the COVID times when there has been a lot like traveling uh, locally so kind of traveling inside Finland uh, by car and this is like perfect to put into the car and just drive. I've managed to fit a week load of stuff in here and then when we go on like weekend getaways with my husband, we put both of our things here. So for me, this is the perfect size. This is a vintage one from 95 or 97. Let's, yeah, a 97 according to the date code. So it is a vintage one and I can see that the leather has kind of taken some beating, but this was definitely, a bag that is a forever one because I feel like owning a Louis Vuitton luggage piece piece in a way uh, that was always one of my dreams um because this is kind of this is the history not the lock me bag or or the key pouches or so the travel pieces and um, still I felt that putting the type of money that these cost new on the boutique was a no-no for me. So I went to the pre-owned market, as I usually do, um, and got these with a really amazing price point. So um, I'm really happy and for the use purposes that I have, this has been amazing. This came with basically everything still attached only the key to the lock was missing, so I can't open the lock, but it's just me being lazy. I could just go to a Louis Vuitton and ask them to open this. But yeah, so, yay! That was it, and that was my whole Louis Vuitton collection. Once again, I wanna wish you happy holidays, and uh, thank you for watching. See you in my next video, bye.